chairman of the various local government councils that are here. We recognize you. Body of Permanent Secretaries in Ubu State. Thank you very, very much for being here. Chairman of Statutory Board. Chairman, Civil Service Commission. Engineer Tokubo Odebumi MNI. A man who also served with OPIC for nine solid years with beautiful success stories to share. We salute Chief Femi Majakodumi, Chairman Subeb, and all the chairmen of statutory boards and commissions that are here. Thank you very, very much indeed. Elder Shola Ademi MNI. Retired Head of Service in Ogu State, you're warmly welcome. And a special recognition one more time, going out to the Baba Adini of Ogu State, a former Secretary to the State Government, and our own representative at the United Kingdom for four solid years, with beautiful success stories Outstanding achievements recorded. Al Haji Sharafadin Tuji Ishola, you're most welcome. Distinguished Senator Leko Mustafa, we recognize your presence here and thank you very much for being here. Chairman Chief Yemi Shanusi, and of course, all our Yaloja generals. Our service chiefs in Ugu State, Women Association, Muslim Women Associations, Form 1, Nasfat, and Sarudin, and Warudin, Ahmadiyya, Form 1 as well. We say thank you very, very much for being here. Members of SOSFA, we congratulate you for being part of this year's Uftar program. And a special recognition going out to a man who is 101 years on planet Earth. A successful playwright, actor, par excellence, Chief Charles Olumo also known as Agbako. Oloe Charles Olumo, Akwariri, Loko Loko. Congratulations. Your Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, may we all rise as we take the national anthem. Let everybody be upstanding as we pay homage and respect to our dear country, Nigeria, with the national anthem. State anthem Ishaya.
We will recite the national pledge together. I pledge to Nigeria, my country, to be faithful, loyal, and honest, to serve Nigeria with all my strength, to defend our unity, and uphold the honor and glory. So help me God. Take me Let's have a seat. I greet and I salute every one of us. In the name of mighty Allah, by saying, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuhu. Awusu bilai minai shaitani rajim, bismillahi rapmoni rahim. I seek refuge from almighty Allah, praying and asking that all that we will do today is guidance we see us through. As we have recognized all the dignitaries, starting with our governor, His Excellency Prince Adedako Muhammadu Sahidi Abiodun, C.O.N., the governor of Ugu State, Her Excellency the First Lady, Mrs. Bamidele Abiodu, Her Excellency the Deputy Governor of Ugu State, Engineer Noimot Salako Oedele, FNSC, Speaker of the Ugu State House of Assembly, Right Honorable Oludaisi Elemide and other distinguished honorable members here present, Chief Judge of Ogun State, Honorable Justice Mosumola Dikweolu, the Head of Service Ogun State, Mr. Kolaole Fagbung, members of the Ogun State Executive Council here present, distinguished chairmen of various boards and corporations in Ogun State. And of course, we recognize all our former deputy governors here present. Our Excellency Alhaja Salmot Makojola Badru, Our Excellency Chief Mrs. Yetude Ononunga, Member House of Representatives representing Imekoa for and Yewa North Federal Constituencies, Honorable Prince Boyega Nasir Isiaka, Distinguished Senators Aki Odunsi and Leko Mustafa. And all other present uh, ESCO members of APC, starting with the chairman of the All Progressive Congress in Ugu State, Chief Yemi Shanusi, and chairman of the various senatorial districts here present, we recognize all of you and all distinguished personalities. Let me also warmly welcome the chairman of the various local government councils in Ogun State, as well as our fathers that are here, Your Majesty, the Akarigo of Remo Kingdom, Kabiesi, Albert Doctor, Adewale Ajayi, FCA, CFR, Kabiesi, the Orimolusi of Ijebuigo, standing in for Kabiesi, the Awujale of Ijebuland, your Majesty of Lawrence Adebaju, Kabiesi of Benjamin Olanite, the Onimeko of Imeko, standing in for Kabiesi, the Olu and the Paramount ruler of Yewaland, as well as Kabiesi, the Olowu of Owu, Oba Professor Saka, Mate Milola, all other Majesties that are here, Highnesses that are here, we salute you and we pay our respect. Members of SOSFA who are here, the Yalojas, members of Form 1 and all the Asalatos that are here, we say thank you very, very much. Our own distinguished uh, Alhaji Kamaruddin Akitude, the Secretary General of the Ogun State Muslim Council who is here. And of course, our own Professor Oguye, Vice President General of Ogun State Muslim Council, Remo Chapter, and the wife, thank you very, very much. Esquire Speaker of the Ogun State House of Assembly, Right Honorable Suraj Ishola Adekumbi, thank you very, very much for being here. And of course, the Baba Dini of Ogun State, former Secretary to the Ogun State Government, former Minister, Federal Republic of Nigeria, High Commissioner to the United Kingdom, Alhaji Sharafa Adin Tuji Ishola, you are most welcome. The chairman of the governor's advisory council, Chief Papa Olu Okuboejo, and all other members of that council here present, 
we salute you. Your Excellency, permit me to recognize specially today a man who is 101 years on planet Earth. I'm talking about no other person than our own chief, Charles Olumo. Congratulations to you. Congratulations, Papa. And of course, we want to recognize the Ashwaju Adini of Ogu State and Baba Adini of Remoland, Al Haji Shatuddin Akpelogu, the national president of Akomura, and all the personalities present here today. Your Excellencies, permit me to also recognize the president of the customary court of appeal in Ogu State, Honorable Justice Femi Shegu. You are most welcome. Uh, the chairman, Nigerian Labour Congress, Ogu State, Comrade Ahmed Benko Ademola, Chairman, Joint Negotiating Council, Ogu State, Comrade Isa Olude, Chairman, Trade Union Congress, Ogu State, Comrade Akim Lassisi, and of course, the JNC Secretary, Comrade Oloedi Olayemi, Chairman of the Nigeria Union of Journalists, Ogu State Council, Comrade Wale Olari Waju, and the Secretary, Comrade Bumi Adigo. We recognize all of you, and you are most welcome. Permit me to also recognize our guest lecturer for this Uftar, Professor Tajuddin Olale Yusuf, FIFP, ACII, FCIL, RM, and the wife, Elijah Sharifat uh, Yusuf. You are most welcome to the Gateway State. We pray that the Almighty Allah who has brought you here will also take you back home in safety. The theme for this year's Uftar is nation building, shared responsibility of government, and the governed. In that wise, Your Excellencies, permit me to now invite the Deputy Chief of Staff of Good State to welcome all of us to this iftar. Take beer. Well, you got to Aki Gumina Wali, Pelogu, Alola Yulo, Prince Dapo, Abiodu, Atawa, Atiyawa, Aki Wakabo, and the Deputy Governor. Address, address. address. الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إيدنا صراط المستقيم صراط الذين نعمت عليهم غير مكتوب عليهم ولا الدالين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألف لام ذلك الكتاب لا ريب فيه هدى للمتقين الذين يؤمنون بالغيب ويقيمون الصلاة ومما رزقناه ينفقون والذين يؤمنون بما أنزل إليك وما أنزل من قبلك وبالآخرة هم يوقنون أولئك على هدى من ربهم وأولئك هم المفلحون أجاك واش سورو كبا Inti Deputy Chief of Staff, we Thomas Iwa Vita, I have a Quran. Eshe Alaji Sugar, ni abe akoso bi ache mo ipe oshu ti awa ni no ehi oshu to la kole to si ni olaju loni. That wise, we will invite Her Excellency, the Deputy Governor of Ogun State. Welcome all of us to this year's Uptown Engineer Nohimot Salako Oedele FN. S E Eban Bolon Tobi Ejo Ejako Kole Dada Eban Tobi Aouz Bilai Mina Tan Rajim Bismillah Rahman Rahim Assalamu Alaikum Waramatullah Wa Barakatuh 
Your Excellency, the Governor of Ogun State, Prince Dapo Abiodun C.O.N., please permit me to stand and adopt the already well-established protocols. On behalf of His Excellency, Prince Dapo Abiodun C.O.N., the Governor of Ogun State, and the government and good people of Ogun State, I welcome everyone here today to this year's annual Ramadan lecture and iftar. This is an annual program which the government undertakes to um, bring Muslim faithful and all stakeholders in Ogun State together to show the government's commitment to supporting all faiths in Ogun State and celebrating this month with all Muslim faithful in the state. We thank His Excellency for continuing this tradition and we thank everyone who has taken time out to come here today. Today is the 28th day of Ramadan and I know a lot of us are actively preparing for special prayers again tonight as the 29th night. But understanding the significance of this program, you have taken time out to come here. We appreciate you. We thank Almighty Allah for preserving us till this day and pray that he preserves us to the end of Ramadan and for us to witness many, many more uh, Ramadans. May Almighty Allah accept all our prayers, our ibadah, all our good deeds in this month, grant us the blessings therein, and guide us to uphold ourselves in faith and good deeds even beyond Ramadan. We seize this opportunity to welcome our guest lecturer and his uh, wife and pray that uh, the lecture we are going to receive today will also be a blessing to all of us. Thank you very much for coming and do have a pleasant evening. Subhana Rabika, Rabbi Lissate Amoya Sifun, Assalamu ala Musaleen, Alhamdulillah Rabbi Takbir Akbar Ni wale ni sokale ya wa deputy governor ni baba imamu akile jebu ni wan wale ati mufti ipinle ogun ati treasurer wa eja loni bu ejo agati o wa nbe yen orgas aga mufti ni ohun ni afi kale fun mufti Egba baba wa imamu akile jebula yi ki won wole ati awon iko won ti won jo wole won ti ha alqurani fun wa e to kan na ni sini pe ka bere sini ke alqurani na bismillahir rahmanir rahim alhamdulillahir rabbil alamin arrahmanir rahim maliki yawmiddin iyyaka na'budu wa iyyaka nasta'in ihdina siratal mustaqim Surat al-Ladina namta alayhim garil magdubi alayhim waladda lil amin Kama ke al-Qurhani walo Ye wati ke utuba bere funwa tele ki baba wa isafensi kwanto wale E funwa wa gwalagwa ni aye ki wa joko amin Amin. Eka lo Quran ni nene dada all guys wagua Quran. Beni 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 beni. Eni ba tika lo Quran ni tan kani keji e ba ki ashima bawa si. Eke A 
Asibuna Allahu wa ni'mali wa akilu ni'mali maula Ambe Allahu asibuna Allahu wa ni'mali wa akilu ni maula wa ni'man nazir Asibuna Allahu wa ni'mali wa akilu ni'mali maula Asibuna Allahu wa ni'mali wa akilu ni'mali maula Aziru asibuna Allahu wa ni'mali wa akilu ni'mali maula wa ni'man aziru Asibuna Allahu wa ni'mali wa akilu ni'mali maula wa ni'man naziru asibuna allahu wa ni'mal wakilu ni'man maula wa ni'man naziru asibuna allahu wa ni'mal wakilu ni'mal maula wa ni'man naziru asibuna allahu wa ni'mal wakilu Ni'mal maula wa ni'man naziru Asibuna Allahu wa ni'mal wa akilu Ni'mal maula wa ni'man naziru Asibuna Allahu wa ni'mal wa akilu Ni'mal maula wa ni'man naziru Asibuna Allahu wa ni'mal wa akilu Ni'mal maula wa ni'man naziru Asibuna Allahu wa ni'mal wa akilu Ni'mal maula wa ni'man naziru Asibuna Allahu ni'mal wa akilu Ni'mal maula wa ni'man naziru asibuna allahu wa ni'mal wa akilu ni'mal maula wa ni'man naziru asibuna allahu wa ni'mal wa akilu ni'mal maula wa ni'man naziru wa ni'kebara yiki asibuna allahu wa ni'mal wa akilu Ni'mal maula wa ni'man naziru Asibuna Allahu wa ni'mal wa akilu Ni'mal maula wa ni'man Wa ni'kabaraki asibuna Allahu wa ni'mal wa akilu Ni'mal maula wa ni'man naziru Asibuna Allahu wa ni'mal wa akilu ni'mal maula wa ni'man naziru asibuna allahu wa ni'mal wa akilu ni'mal maula wa ni'man naziru 
asibuna Allah wa ni'mali wa akilu ni'mali maula wa ni'man aziru asibuna Allah wa ni'mali wa akilu ni'mali maula wa ni'man aziru asibuna Allah wa ni'mali wa akilu ni'mali maula wa ni'man aziru asibuna Allah wa ni'mali wa akilu ni'mali maula wa ni'man aziru asibuna Allah wa ni'mali wa akilu ni'mali maula wa ni'man aziru eli meji meji esuma Eli meji meji e sumo e balaike o le ya a si ma gba wa si sunna Allah a ma gba wa si edakun asikola o de duo de enikan beni asikola o duo de wa eh asheun asheun Asibuna Allah wa ni'mali wa akilu ni'mali maula wa ni'man aziru Asibuna Allah wa ni'mali wa akilu ni'mali maula wa ni'man aziru asibuna allah wa ni'mali wa akilu ni'mali wa ula wa ni'man aziru asibuna allah wa ni'mali wa akilu ni'mali wa ula wa ni'man aziru asibuna allah wa ni'mali wa akilu Ni'mali maula wa ni'man aziru asibuna Allah wa ni'mali wa akilu ni'mali maula wa ni'man aziru asibuna Allah wa ni'mali wa akilu ni'mali maula wa ni'man aziru Asibuna Allah wa ni'mali wa akilu ni'mali wa ula wa ni wa ni bebololo kusi o asibuna Allah wa ni'mali wa akilu ni'mali wa ula wa ni'man aziru asibuna Allah wa ni'mali wa akilu Ni'mali maula wa ni'man aziru asbuna Allah wa ni'mali wa wakilu ni'mali maula wa ni'man Ibolopu si asbuna Allah wa ni'mali wa akilu ni'mali maula wa ni'man aziru Asibuna Allah wa ni'mali wa akilu ni'mali maula wa ni'man aziru Asibuna Allah wa ni'mali wa akilu ni'mali maula wa ni'man aziru Asibuna Allah wa ni'mali wa akilu Ni'mali maula wa ni'man aziru Awati abati Ketan kama fi kurayen shawasi wa ju Wani kema fi shawasi wa ju Eche Bawata abati ketan Kani ton bawa agba Eba wang agba lagba ke kule ya Kule ya Eba wang agba lagba ke Kuli ya Al-Fatiha Amin Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Alhamdulillahirrabbilalamin Ar-Rahmanirrahim Maliki yawmiddini Iyaka na'budu wa iyaka nasta'inu 
اهدنا صراط المستقيم صراط الذين انعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين من فضلكم ايها الاباء والائمه والعلماء بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم ارحمني بالقران واجعلني اماما ونورا وهدى ورحمه اللهم ذكرنا منه ما نسينا وعلمنا منه ما جهلنا وارزقنا تلاوته وانا الليل وذب النهار واجعله لنا حجه يا رب العالمين اللهم اصلي لنا ديننا الذي عصمته الذي هو عصمه امرنا واصلي لنا دين دنيانا الذي هو معاشنا واصلي لنا اخرتنا التي فيها معادنا واجعل الاية سيادة لنا في كل خير واجعل الموت راحة لنا من كل شر اللهم اجعل خير امورنا اخره وخير اعمالنا خواتمه وخير اياما خير ايامنا يوم نلقاك فيه اللهم انا نسالك عيشة هنية وميتة سوية ووردا غير غوص ولا فادي اللهم انا نسالك خير المسالة وخير الدعاء وخير النجاة وخير العلم وخير العمل وخير الثواب وخير الحياة وخير الممات وثبتنا وسكن موازيننا وحقق ايماننا وارفع درجاتنا وتقبل صلاتنا وقف خطياتنا ونسألك العلا من الجنة اللهم إنا نسألك موجبة رحمتك وزائم مغفراتك مغفراتك والسلامة من كل اسم وغنيمة من كل بير والفوز بالجنة والنجاة من النار اللهم أحسن عقيبتنا في الأمور كلها واجرنا من خزي الدنيا وأسى بالآخرة اللهم أحسن لنا من خشياتك ما تحول به بيننا وبين معصياتك ومن طاعتك ما تبلغنا بها جنتك ومن اليقين ما تهون به علينا مصائب الدنيا ومتينا باسمائنا وبصارنا وقوتنا ما احييتنا وجل الوارث منا وجل ثارنا لا ما ظلمنا وانصرنا لمن عادانا ولا تجعل مصيبتنا في ديننا ولا تجعل دنيا اكبر امنا ولا مبلغ علمنا ولا تسلط علينا من لا يرحمنا اللهم لا تدع لنا ذنبا الا كفرته ولا هما الا فرجته ولا دينا الا قضيته ولا حاجه من اوائل الدنيا ولا اخره الا قضيتها يا رحم الراحمين ربنا اتينا في الدنيا حسنه وفي الاخره حسنه وكينا عذاب النار وصلى الله على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه الاخيار وسلم تسليما كثيرا الفاتحه بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين يا كنعبد ويا كنستعيدنا صراط المستقيم صراط الذين انعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين امين اقوى كن شيء ادعو متى eti ya manse akoko adua olosi jegu fun gomina wa ipinle ogun baba wa imama akile jegu awon ni won se 
Sol you are the other thing. So I do quite near the law. The more I do quite near the law. If you have one, you pay, but our excellence you are. Go from our own bad that I want to walk over your. I do want to do for ya. Lord, do you at work? I do want. I want be alone. It's our party. Lord, do you want to be alone? I mean, we love to watch you. I mean, you do a bar, you do your boo, you do a remo, you do your one of the much you do. I mean, a lot of people want to turn that on to a lot of you do. I mean, I love my food that put you on. I don't believe I have a commission as you are. I do what I want your love with you, Robert. You walk out. I need to say that you do I mean. I mean, فصل لربك وانهر ان شانك هو الابتر امين ادعو توكو ني فون ipinle ogun egba ni won ni ko ti wa nigba ti baba imo mo egba ode sinle ninu robita emi lokan elika o sini omi legba leyin mo mo egba emi ni mo sadua fun gomina wa ipinle ogun olola julo omo ba dapo abi odun oluwa ma je ure yin oluwa ko ba du o ti yin ni wo yi odun to lo e n se adua wi pe to bo ma di emi eyin na ni ka wa ba olohun science atete 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 tetete olohun ni ke bori ojojumo le ma bori e si ni jabo albarka la ilaha illallah ti en ba wa fe so kale logun olohun ni ma mu yan so kale layo atalafia his excellency Injo ti a mosu wa nbe aye n pariwo enikan Olorun ni rara eni mo fe ni yi Injo ti Daniel wa nbe Olorun ni eni mo fe ni yi Injo ta mosu wa nbe won pariwo enikan Olorun ni dapo ni mo fe Injo ti won pariwo enikan Olorun la mosu mo fe won lori eki njoba mo ni ara ade fun Toro na ti dade fawon eyan o si debe won pariwo ti ni eko ni debe leki ni e debe leki ji e tu debe ohun awon eyan ni e wa to won olohun o ke to ku o nbe ke to me ni te gbe fun o e ma fo re se e ma fi mole bi se ko le ye yin bo tin ye awon tana subhana rabbika rabbil izati amma yasifun wa salamu ala al mursalin wa alhamdulillah rabbil alamin ma pe aba imam re mo won se adua ti nigeria sallu ala nabiyil karim Awa kan sa la solo un waba Awa kan sa la solo un waba Oba ti yo do ju adura ti wa Ala u ti yo do ju adura ti wa o Awa kan sa la solo un waba Ada kwe fun olo un Lori baba wa are gbogbo nigeria lapapo to aba abola ahmed tinubu oni ko ni se se olorun ni yo ri inna ma kauluna li shay'in idha aradnaw an nakul allahu kun fa yakun aba to mu oje be ni rorun olorun ma sha fun oni ase yo ri se allahumma amin nigeria roju ko raye ma je o da ru olorun allahumma ma je o da ru won olowo je ko se se ko tu ba ko tu se Kanso la yo, kele ke chou tu che che ni ron nou. Allahumma amin. Kwa kwa tu kwa 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 الذي أطعمه من جوع وأمنه من خوف آمين. ولي أدعو. Thank you very much. At this point, may I?
request that Professor Tajuddin or Lalik or Yusuf should be upstanding as we quickly go through his profile. Born to an Egba family of Bagra extraction, Tajuddin or Lalik or Yusuf in his mid 50s was born in Mushi, Lagos State. He completed his primary and secondary education career at the Ansaldin Primary and College is solo between 1972 and 1983. His tertiary education started with a one year stint at the Lagos State College of Science and Technology, now Lasutec, where he studied accountancy before he proceeded to the University of Lagos in 1985 and he bagged a bachelor's honors degree in insurance. In 1989, he also proceeded and by 1993, had a master's degree in business administration specializing in management. After about a decade in the corporate world, Tajuddin transferred his career to the academic world where he joined the University of Lagos as an assistant lecturer in 1999. With his passion for ethical finance, he obtained a study leave from the University of Lagos to pursue a master's degree in Islamic management banking and finance and that is in the United Kingdom in 2005 and graduated with distinction. In 2009 he completed his PhD at the Nottingham University Business School United Kingdom becoming the first PhD holder in the field of insurance and risk management from his department at the University of Lagos. He rose to the pinnacle of his academic career as a full chair in 2020, thus becoming the first professor of insurance and risk management in the University of First Choice and the nation's pride. Apart from attending several academic conferences and workshops, both locally and internationally, our guest lecturer today is indeed well-schooled and attended different workshops of the United States of America, United Kingdom, Malaysia, Japan, Kenya, just to mention a few. In the religious community, Tajuddin has and is making valuable leadership contributions to the dissemination of knowledge and learning through several leadership responsibilities, including member screening committee for the ISDB Prize for Impactful Achievement in Islamic Economics to the year 2024. The G former chairman, Lagos State Muslim Pilgrims Welfare Board, former chairman, Nigeria Inter-Religion Council in Lagos State, chairman, governing board, subtle Nostrand Primary School in Solo Lagos, amongst others. Tajuddin is a mentor and a role model to many individuals across the globe and a motivational speaker who regularly gives lectures on varied Islamic subjects in public and on radio as well as television. His hobbies are traveling and keeping tab on current affairs. He has also authored Islamic books such as Winning Souls for Allah, Conquering and Shitan, Mosque Basics and Management. And our lecturer today, Professor Tajuddin Olalik or Yusuf, FIFP, FCILRM, ACII is blessed with wives, children, and grandchildren. We therefore invite him to deliver a lecture on the theme nation building, shared responsibility of government, and the governed. Take beer. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على شرف المرسلين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته I want to First of all, thank Almighty Allah who has preserved our lives to witness today. 
I also want to seek for his peace and blessings on Prophet Muhammad, his companions and followers, and all those who are following his footsteps to the day of judgment. I want to appreciate our governor, His Excellency Governor Adedakbo Abiodun was invited to deliver this year's Ramadan and Iftar. It is a I never thought could come to me. Though being an Egba abroad, I'm very proud of this state. And my own case is Omowale. Alhamdulillah. I also want to appreciate his wife, the first lady of the state, and the deputy governor, engineer Noimot Salako. Very happy to be here. I also want to extend the same protocol to all the distinguished personalities at these occasions, the traditional rulers, our fathers present, and all the ulama who are here, starting from the wakil of Ogun State and the, the Southwest Delta and Edo. May Allah continue to prolong your life. And our father, the chief imam of Ijebu, I was with him some days back. The, all the chief imams who are here today and the distinguishing personalities here, I say, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. The topic which I have been asked to address is nation building, shared responsibility of God and the God. I will be speaking from this perspective of Islam. The government responsibility starts with policy formulation. Governments formulate policies and strategies aimed at promoting economic growth, cohesion, infrastructure development, and national security. Secondly, institution building. They establish and strengthen institutions responsible for governance, justice, education, health care, and other essential services. Number three, resource allocation. Government manage resources efficiently, ensuring equitable distribution and investment in key sectors to spur development. Number four, infrastructure development. They invest in infrastructure projects such as roads, bridges, energy, and telecommunications to facilitate economic activities and improve citizens' quality of life. Number five, rule of law. Governments uphold the rule of law, ensure the protection of human rights, and provide a conducive environment for business and investment. What about citizens? Our response as citizens start from civic engagement. Citizens actively participate in democratic process by voting, engaging in public discourse, and holding elected officials accountable. Number two, compliance with laws. They obey laws, regulations, and civic norms, contributing to a peaceful and orderly society. Number three, social cohesion. Citizens promote social cohesion by respecting diversity, fostering unity, and actively contributing to community development. Number four, economic participation. Citizens contribute to the economy through work, entrepreneurship, and responsible consumption, driving economic growth and prosperity. Number five, volunteering and philanthropy. Citizens volunteer their time, 
skills and resources to support social causes, address societal challenges, and improve the well-being of their fellow citizens. Then, what are our shared responsibilities? Number one, collaboration. Collaboration. Government and citizens collaborate on various initiatives, such as public-private partnerships, community development projects, and policy dialogues, leveraging each other's strengths and weaknesses and resources. Number two, transparency and accountability. Both parties promote transparency and accountability in governance, ensuring that resources are utilized effectively and that decisions are made in the public interest. Number three, continuous improvement. Nation building is an ongoing process that requires continuous adaptation and improvement. Government and citizens must work together to identify challenges, implement solutions, and seize opportunities for progress. Ultimately, nation building is most effective when there is a symbiotic relationship between the government and the governed characterized by mutual respect, trust, and shared commitment to the common good. In Islam, the concept of nation building and the shared responsibility of government and the governed are deeply intertwined with principles derived from the Quran and the teachings of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Here are some of the key points from an Islamic perspective. Number one, justice and equality. Islam emphasizes the principles of justice and equality among all individuals, regardless of their background, ethnicity, religious background, or social status. This extends to the government's responsibility to ensure fair treatment and equal opportunities for all citizens within the state. Allah says, O oh, ye who believe, be persistent, standing firm in justice, witnesses for Allah, even if it is be against yourselves or parents and relatives. Whether one is rich or poor, Allah is more worthy of both. Quran chapter 4, verse 135. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, the just will be seated upon pits of light. Those who are just in their decisions, families, and in all that over which they are placed. Example, during his time in Makkah and Medina, Prophet Muhammad Sallam consistently upheld principles of justice and equality. He treated all individuals regardless of their social status or background, with fairness and respect. One notable instance is the city of Udaibiya, where Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu negotiated with the Quraysh despite their previous hostilities. This treaty, although initially perceived as unfavorable to the Muslims, ultimately led to a period of peace and allowed Islam to spread peacefully. Number two, good governance. Islamic teachings emphasize the importance of good governance, which includes accountability, transparency, consultation, shura, and adherence to the rule of law. Leaders are expected to govern with integrity and wisdom, seeking the betterment of society as a whole. And Allah says, and those who have responded to their Lord and established prayer and whose affair are settled by consultation among themselves and from what we have provided them, they spend. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, whosoever, whosoever of you sees an evil, mon ra'a min kum mon karan, fali yu ayiru bi yadi. Wa ilam yastati, 
وإن لم يستتي فبقلبي وذلك أضعف الإيمان Whatsoever of you sees evil, let him change it with his hand. And if it is not able to do so, then let him change it with his tongue. Say it's not good. And if it's not able to do so, then with his heart. And that is the weakest of faith. Example, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam regularly consulted with his companions on various matters seeking their advice and opinions the practice of shura or consultation was an integral part of his leadership style for instance in the battle of Uhud, prophet muhammad consulted with his companions on the strategy to be adopted considering their input before making decisions number three shared responsibility in islam the responsibility for nation building is not solely on the government but is shared between the rulers and the ruled while the government is responsible for providing infrastructure services and security citizens also have obligations to contribute positively to society through their actions their work and adherence to moral values. Allah says, Wataawanu ala libiri watakwa wala taawanu ala li ismi waladuan and cooperate in righteousness and piety. But do not cooperate in sin and aggression. Quran chapter 5, verse 2. Allah also says, Kuntum khaira ummatin ukhrijat linnas ta'muruna bil ma'ruf wa tanihauna 'anil munkar wa tu'minuna billahi you are the best nation produced for mankind you enjoy what is right and forbid what is evil and believe in Allah Quran chapter 3 verse 1 and 10 prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said the believers in their mutual kindness compassion and sympathy are just like one body when one of the limbs suffers the whole body responds to it with wakefulness and fever example prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam emphasized the importance of collective responsibility among his followers he encouraged them to work together for the betterment of society and to support one another in times of need. After the migration to Medina, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam established the constitution of Medina, which outlined the rights and responsibilities of various tribes and communities promoting unity and cooperation. Our society is a diverse one, a multi-religious society. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam gave us an example by ensuring the security of Medina. He invited not only Muslims, he invited Christians, he invited Jews, he invited pagans to come and discuss the security of Medina. That is to show you that in Islam, we live in harmony with other faiths. Lakum dinukum Waliadi, everybody to his own religion, and we must respect that. Also, serving the community, both the government and the government are encouraged to serve the community and work towards the common good. This includes charitable acts, volunteering, and participating in initiatives aimed at improving the welfare of society, particularly for the less fortunate. The examples of those who spend their wealth in the way of Allah is like a seed of grain which grows seven spikes. In each spike is a hundred grains and Allah multiplies his reward for whom he wills. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu said, Khairukum and Fa'um Linnas, the best of you are those who are most beneficial to the people. 
There is no good in you if you are not beneficial to the people. Because ultimately, you are being beneficial to yourself. Because the reward of good is good. Whatever good you do, you are sowing. You will eventually reap it. So it is not wasted. Prophet Muhammad Sallam was known for his selflessness and dedication to serving the community. He actively participated in charitable activities, supported the needy, and promoted social welfare. He established institutions such as the Beitil Mall, Treasury, to support the poor and vulnerable members of society, demonstrating a commitment to social justice. Ethical conduct. Islam places a strong emphasis on ethical conduct in all spheres of life, including governance. Leaders are expected to govern with integrity, honesty, and compassion. Wise citizens are encouraged to uphold moral values and fulfill their duties towards God and their fellow human beings. Allah says, and do not, do, do not consume one another's wealth unjustly or send it in bribery to the rulers in order that they might and you to consume a portion of the wealth of the people in sin while you know it is unlawful. Quran chapter 2 verse 188. Social justice. Islam advocates for social justice and the equitable distribution of resources. Governments are urged to address poverty, inequality, and oppression, ensuring that basic needs such as food, shelter, education, and health care are accessible to all members of the society. Allah says, and give the relative his right, and also the poor and the traveler, and do not spend wastefully. Quran chapter 17 verse 26. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Mangashana falaysamina. Whoever shits us is not one of us. Islam does not tolerate shitters. Don't shit. Whoever shits is not of Prophet Muhammad. Peace and harmony. Islam promotes peace, tolerance, and cooperation among people of different backgrounds and beliefs. Government and citizens alike are encouraged to strive for peaceful coexistence, resolve conflicts through dialogue and negotiations, and foster mutual understanding and respect. Overall, in Islam, nation building is seen as a collective effort where both the government and the governed have a shared responsibility to uphold justice serve the community and work towards the betterment of society while adhering to the principles and teachings of Islam. The rightly guided caliphs were also examples in this regard. Those examples from the lives of Prophet Muhammad and the rightly guided caliphs demonstrate their commitment to the principles of justice, good governance, share responsibility and serving the community which are essential for nation build, building from an Islamic perspective. I want to end my presentation with a verse of the Holy Quran in Quran chapter 28 verse 77 where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says Auzubillah min shaitani rajim wabtagi fi ma ataka Allah dar al akhirah Wala tansa nasiba kamina dunia wahsin kama ahsan Allah ilay wala tabgil fasada fil ar inna Allah la yuhibbul mufsidin This is an address to all of us between the governed and the government Allah says seek the reward of the hereafter by means of what Allah has granted you. Ituma Olonni Efim Tom Fun Yilola 
e fi wa orun yin e fi n tolorun fun yin ni imo ni owo ni opolo ni okun ara e fi wa orun yin e sise fun orun yin tori pe ta ba saye atun gbogbo po te ba wa e fi wa orun yin e ma fi wa olorun ni wala tansa natiba kamina dunia e ma gbagbe ipin yin ti le aye o e ma gbagbe ipin yin ti le aye e wa ore aye ati torun e ma wa ore aye nikan e se dada sira yin ipo kipo te ba wa wasin kama asana allah ilayhi e se dada sawun eniyan bi olorun se se dada si yin e ma ya bamu bamu layo awa o mo pe bi npo mo enikan kan ipo kipo te ba wa e wa nu ijoba ni abi eje ara alu olorun lo gbe yin debe o e se dada sawun eyan ki se mimo se yin o ki se mimo se wa o ki se ipa gbon o ki se pa smart o olorun wo o fi don wa wo ni o o fe wo nkan ta ma se e se dada sawun eyan Bolon se se dada seyin na gba te wa lomo kekere se mo pe ri lai lori awon obi yin ni to ba ya awon obi yin na wa pada wa ri lai yin na lo gbogbo ipo kipo te ba wa e se dada sawon eyan bolon se se dada si yin wala tabgil fasad fil ard e gbodo bori leje e ma baduje ati joba ataralu e gbodo balu ije e ma se n to le da wa la le tori pe olorun lo da wa sibi ko se ni to yan baba e ko se ni to yan mama e olorun lo yan fun wa olorun lo gbe ilu ogun state yi kale state to je pe olorun fi awon eyan daada jinki wa tun ba lo ka itan nigeria ogun state lo gbe gba oroke pelu awon eyan jankan jankan awon ti o to je pe won ki se asadanu olorun wa ko won si state kan ilu yo gbodo towo wa baje o ibi kibi to ba mu dani nbe paye olorun ibaje o gbodo sele nbe ajumo se gbogbo wa ni ki lu ma baje tori to ba baje so mo nbo ni o orun fe ya ni ko si bi te yan sa lo resources tani state wi ti o ba si fowo so wo po laarin ijoba ataralu ko le kese jari ko le kese jari lara kida igbagbo ni kan ni fe o state wa to rolorun lo se kini lo da wa sibe awon to le baluje eje ajina si awa ta wa ko fi si agbara olorun fi don wa wo ni o o fe wo ba se fe se ati rure o olorun je asori gbogbo awon ta ba fi sipo ki won fi e okan ife ilu se ijoba ka si fun won lanfani ati se awa ijoba 
awon ara ilu awon ta fi sipo eja ki won lowo eja ran won lowo pelu imoran mo ri bayi e se bayi ijoba na de gbodo ma gba moran lowo ara ilu anabi wa muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam gbogbo oro to ba fe se a pe awon ara ilu bo se pe awon ara ilu medina o pe christian o pe jew o pe eh elebo o pe won po ilu medina yo gbodo baje won wa se apero apero yen wa mu jade constitution constitution yen ko sele laye ri anabi wa muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam o ko lujo ni won ni idalu ni se lu ogun state olorun ti da olorun ti ke ko gbodo towo wa je o ise gbogbo wa ni o ara ilu e soju se tin yin ke ranti pe gbogbo wa ma pada lo bo olorun a de ma jejo lori nta ba se ko sa se gbe nu islam ko sa se gbe le aye yi o gbogbo nta n se lo olorun ri o oni kaluku a de jejo titi e inna allah la yuhibbul mufsidi olorun lo won ni fi awon obaluje a gbodo ba nbe ilu ogun olorun ma je o baje governor wa olorun ma sabawa fun won se e ti rure olorun je ke so re awon oro tolorun fi ke ilu lasiko tin o ma gberu o de ma je dada fun gbogbo wa alafia ifo kan bale olorun ma sa je o joba si ilu yi gbogbo awa ti awa nse to na ede aye de olorun ma fi sa rin wa o esu bi eyan eyan bi esu olorun ma je kun ra yi la rin wa o mo kiwa olorun je ki ramadan mi ba wa laye olorun ma se leyi ni asemo fun wa o ati governor wa ati executive council ogun state ati awon legislature ati chief justice ati gbogbo awon gov awon commissioners ati gbogbo awon local government esu bi eyan eyan bi esu ko ni ra ilarin yi o ilu ogun a tun ma lo siwaju ni o aqulu qawli hadha astaghfirullah li wa lakum assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh takbir e ba n gbolon to bi leko se ati gbo idani leko in to ba je mo ni kaluku lati gbe se e je ka se ki gbogbo e ko ba le rorun fun wa we we'll quickly take some goodwill messages and we appeal to those that will be giving these messages to please help us out let's leave out all the protocols and let's go straight to our message we have just two and a half minutes each first we will be recognizing our form one and i respectfully invite the chairperson form one alhaja jinodu zainab for a goodwill message check bill Sola na bi li keri Fon wan fon wan no egbe awa ni o fon wan egbe awa egbe egba o egbe ye wa egbe ijebu o egbe re mo ko ma ni baje o lo la mu won mo na ra to minister Sola na bi li keri o protocol do le observe sir your excellency sir our father the priest that Babiola, all our imams, the legal monster, they are the father of state Amira. We welcome you and we thank you and we appreciate you. Our governor, sir, really appreciate you. You know, all what we have done in Ogu State, on the employment, on the road, on the earth, and also all the palliative given to the people of Ogu State in this Ramadan. May Almighty continue to be with us. Give you the adequate profession you and your household and give you long life we wish more blessing e jo ni yo ba kin to ma lo adupa lowo governor wa sa ati yawo won ati mama wa former deputy governor e se gudugu beje yaya mefa 
Bosa, form one, Bejen Wawa, Bobo Shawa, Kolamo. We are into all, we are working with many Oxet ministries, working with women and affairs in gender based. We are going from one school to another to give them lecture. On the earth, they are normally calling us on primary earth. Anything they want the people to do in the state, we are, they are sending all the message to the grassroots. On the education, we will go to school, pay a quota, a little quota that we can pay. We will go to uh, Adato, Adola Primary, and and Primary School. You see the three rest more, almost one million. We pull it there. If you go to primary school in Agoko, Iron School shares there is from Form 1. We don't receive any cover from Ogu State. We are using our personal money to pay our quota. May all my teller continue to be with you. Sir, I'm using this opportunity. If you have any office, give us and give us the job. We can do it better. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. We'll now be inviting another distinguished Islamic scholar, uh, Saved Nakomyo, and presently the Secretary General of the Ogu State Muslim Council. Let's welcome Alhaji Kamaldin Akitunde. Please, Alhaji Kamaldin Akitunde, please, let's come forward. You have just two and a half minutes. Thank you very much. As in stepping forward, let's get prepared. Uh, very soon, His Excellency will be addressing us, and we have the opportunity to indeed observe the breaking of fast and the prayers. Take beer. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Olola Julo Gumino Epilogum. Egg Bamilaye. King Fio was a good good bit of Yaki or Wawa. Get get be what he said to Sile. Nituri a coco. Mufe Sadan Kata. Fui Joba Epilogum. Fui to Shelly Lani. Why? Nituri pe Eto Shelly. O two months in town lay in Bunquini intrafaith ammoni. Ibashe Koto Domono Lani and went less in Kana. A lady that she she need to repay Gomino one shetto Funkova. His Excellency is not only faith minded, is Islam friendly, is Islam caring, and is Islam supporting. And other fecky at what mark be on to see. Oh, Kojanye, we also need interfaith harmony. Ibashe Koto Domono, oh Lord, sorry, Lani and went less in Google, at a less in Christy, at a less in Islam, at he and went less in Abalaye. I fail a board of Shelley. If you are talking of National growth and development, we need this. Torino, Afeki Gomino, Kodumashi, Eto, Fortun Atosi, Papa, Unto Bato Sikowa, Kielima Shefun, Bobado Soil, like Bamilaye. Here for ten coffin wire, it's not only of economic value to a state, it's also of religious value. We told you, Pekin, Opa, Uya, Palupu, and we're less in Christ as a less in San Toban, Koma, Loseko, Lati, Loma. Four is the one man who gone with time. One man that come out from there, and that is being great way to Nigeria in its proper sense. So I will pay him. Oh man, oh there to my help with the National Commission of Nigeria. Kokogbe, what you call Nakon projects. So be, by the time we have proper constituent board, they will make a case for that and make sure we have premise. Plan from Thank you for the support. Wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi Permit me to quickly invite the chairman of the All Progressives Congress, Ugu State, Al Haji Yemi Shanusi. I also be lie, Minashi Ten Rajim, be Isimi lie, Raman in Lahim. Salam alaikum, Rama to lie, Babaraka to who? Moki Ololaji Lower Governor 
omo ba da po abi odun ba kan na ni mo ki iya fin won ki won je obirin akoko ni ipile ogun mo de ki gba keji gbodun wa mo ki gbogbo awon to wa ni oke ni ai tebu ma akoko ki awon baba wa awon ulama ti won wa nbi awon afa wa lati jebu lati egba lati yewa ese adupe oluwa gba ibada gbogbo wa ba kan na ni mo wa pada si odo lecturer wa leni eh i has done very very well it was a very short lecture full of wisdom knowledge and it is was very very rich ese adupe oluwa fi imapun imo yin eh eyin baba wa te wa ni kale mo kiyin o mi o gba gbe speaker wa o ṣugbọn aye o si won ni iṣeju kan si meji na ni eh adaju agba ni ipinle okun mo se ba o ka ma fe se ko okun jo ba o mo ki eyin oba laye mo ki eyin baba baba te wa nbi leni mo ki eyin ya wa te wa ba wa se eh idan se lowo yi opo kan ninu islam lo je tori wi pe islam opo marun lo ni ikan ni asaumin awe ta ngba sugbon kan to romo opo gbogbo eyan kan lo ma gba awe islam sugbon eyan le gba lona mi na governor wa won gba awe islam bayi en tori ti won ba so pe asakat enu islam ta ba n se lowo en ti olorun ba bukun o tun ma ma yan saka a governor wa yan saka won fun awon alai ni eleyi ti won se lowo yi iftaru yi on lo di elekefa ti won ma se lati gba won ti denu ijoba gege bi lecturer wa se so won so nkan ti ijoba wa fun pe ijoba en lo ni eto bi ilu te ma dara toro aje ma dara ti gbogbo awon alai ni te bi oni pa won ti won wa bi se ma je be ni governor wa n gbiyanju sugbon eyanju kan o si oluwa ran won lowo ju yi ti won ti nse yi lo won ti bere layo oluwa je won ogun le layo o a dupe lowo awon baba to sadura fun governor wa pe ki won se layo ki won gun le layo enikan so wi pe igba ti won ba n lo en ti won ma gbe fun en ti won ma gbe fun ti oni ba n ti won se le je o lo lohun a je won o gbe fun o adupe ese gan ni o ese un lopo lopo let me invite the last but not the least to speak on behalf of a royal fathers that are here i call respectfully invite his majesty the Oluwu of the Kingdom, Habiyesi, of the Professor Saka, Mate Milola. Take me here. And you know I want to have a big run, one of where you come, and you have a Oju program wa bo ya fe ha sibe ni o godo pe ka to kuro ni joko yi ese o
to a message coming from the number one citizen of our gateway state, our father, very tolerant and also fair to all the various three senatorial districts of the state and is leading for the fear of God, making sure that yes, developmental projects are indeed experienced and enjoyed by the entire good people of our dear state. I respectfully invite His Excellency, the Governor of the State, yeah. Prince Adedabo, Mohammed Sahid Abiodo, C-O-N, to address this of town this year. Thank you. Please be seated. Ejo Ejoku. My Excellency, the First Lady of Ogun State. My Excellency, the Deputy Governor of Ogun State, Engineer Noemot Salakoridili. The Speaker of the Ogun State Out of Assembly, Right Honorable Oluda Isi Elemide, the Honorable Chief Judge of Ogun State, Honorable Justice Musumola Dikpe Olu, the Secretary of State Government, Mr. Tukumotalabi, the Head of Service, Mr. Peter Kolawale Fagbo. My Deputy Chief of Staff, Dr. Tony Taiwo, our very amiable guest lecturer, very informed, renowned, well read and articulate, Professor Tajuddin Olalikon Yusuf, and his Wife, Alaja Sharifat Yusuf. Permit me to recognize all our former deputy governors here present. We have Alaja Salmud Badru, Her Excellency. Her Excellency Chief Mrs. Yutundi Ononuga is here with us. All our erstwhile speakers are here present. Permit me to recognize Right Honorable Suraj Adikungwe Ishola. All members of the National Assembly that are here present, both serving and present, but maybe to use distinguished Senator Alika Mustafa as a point of respects to all of them, and also to use Honorable Ganyu um, Isiaka, Boyga Isiaka, as a point of regards to all the members of the House of Reps. We have with us His Excellency, one time Secretary of State Government, one time Minister of the Federal Republic, and erstwhile Ambassador of Nigeria to the United Kingdom, Ambassador Sharafa Tuji Shola, is here with us today. We have the Chairman of our Great Party, Chief Yemi Sanusi, all members of the Yoko State Executive Council that are here today. All our erstwhile heads of service that I also heard have joined us. I'll use Elder Adiemi as a point of respect to all of you. Members of the Yoko State House of Assembly, council chairmen that are here, chairmen of boards and statutory commissions, members of the body of permanent secretaries that are here, our royal majesties that have come to join us from across the state. We have with us the chairman 
of the Ogun State Council of Ubers and the Akaribu and Paramount ruler of Remoland, Oba Dr. Adewale Babatunde Ajayi, CFR. We have representing His Royal Majesty the Awujale and Paramount ruler of Ijebuland. We have His Royal Highness Oba Lawrence Adebajo, the Orimolusi of Ijebubo is here with us. Representing His Royal Majesty, the Alake and Paramount Law of Ebaland, we have His Royal Highness Oba Professor Saka Mate Milola, the Olu of Uwu. Representing the Olu of Ilaro, we have his Royal Highness Oba Lanite Benjamin, the Onimeko of Vimeko. I hereby salute, thank, and appreciate all our Royal Highnesses that are here in their numbers. Permit me to use the Olota of Ota as a point of respect to all of them that are here in their numbers. The Chairman of our Governor's Advisory Council, Baba. Chief Ulu Kubejo, you are recognized. All other members of the Governor's Advisory Council are hereby also appreciated and recognized. All spouses of the state government functionaries are recognized. All our chief imams, who today is their day, they are the ones who represent the League of Imams and Alphas in Ogun State. Permit me to appreciate and recognize the Chief Imam of Ebalan, Cheik Sada Bangbala. Bangbala, the Chief Imam of Ijebu, Sheikh Muftau Ayobadejo, the Chief Imam of Remo, Sheikh Junaid Quadri, and also the consultant to the Governor of Islamic Affairs, Alaji Ishkel. Lawa, a.k.a. Sugar. We have with us our Yalogers in their numbers. I will use Chief Yemisi Abbas, the Yaloger of your land and Yaloger General of Oku State as a point of respect to all of you. All members of different associations civil societies, labor unions. I greet all of you whilst I salute all Islamic groups and societies, all of you, all our salamatus, all our ulamas, all our other Muslim faithfuls are here present, all our youths, all our students, members of community development associations, I greet all of you. All other eminent and distinguished guests, gentlemen of the press, ladies and gentlemen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Tabir. Tabir. In the name of the Almighty Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful, I'd like to congratulate all our Muslim faithfuls worldwide for witnessing yet another glorious month of Ramadan. And we want to thank the Almighty Allah for his uncommon grace and mercy over all of us, particularly for allowing us to see this day and for giving all of us the privilege to partake in the holy ordinance of observing this glorious month of Ramadan. Our gathering here this evening is an important aspect of the state's program, not only towards the spiritual upliftment of Muslims in our dear state, but also an opportunity for us to come together in fellowship and devotion during this blessed month of Ramadan. And I, as your governor, 
I am filled with a lot of gratitude to fellowship with every Muslim in this year's Ramadan Iftar program. Inshallah, we will sustain this time of reflection and spiritual renewal through which we deepen our connection with our faith and with one another. May the Almighty Allah accept our supplications and consider it an act of ibadah. For us in Nigeria, and in particular Yogo State, witnessing of this ninth month of the Islamic lunar calendar is one of the most important and blessed of all Muslim months. Muslims around the world fast from dawn to sunset, abstaining not only from food and drink, but also from negative thoughts and behavior. It's a time of self-discipline and self-improvement. A time to cleanse the body, mind, and soul. On this note, I congratulate the Muslims community here in Ogun State in particular, and Nigeria in general. In a special way, I also want to use this opportunity to congratulate and thank all our erudite Islamic scholars here present today. I particularly want to appreciate our guest lecturer of today's program, Professor Tajuddin Olalekon Yusuf, F I F P A C I I F C I L R M, Ekilapu, for such an insightful and thought provoking lecture. He has continued to contribute greatly from his wealth of experience, spiritual attainment, and unparalleled commitment to the will of the Almighty Allah and service to community. We are most thankful for the ability to observe this year's fasting and be part of this 1445 special Ramadan Iftar, which has grown into a fulfilling, soul-lifting, and spiritually uplifting event. I commend all those who have in one way or another contributed to the successful hosting of this year's event. At the same time, wishing peace and strength to all our Muslim brothers and sisters observing Ramadan. It is gratifying to note that this year's theme, which is nation building, shared responsibility, of government and the governed is in consonance with our building our future together agenda which we have successfully implemented since we assumed office in May 2019 my dear brothers and sisters you will quite agree with me that fasting in Ramadan holds a prominent place in the life of the Muslim Umar in Islam the practice of fasting is not only a physical exercise, but a spiritual one, such that it is a time for spiritual reflection and growth to every Muslim to attain spiritual heights and be a recipient of the grace of the Almighty God. The Holy Quran has established in chapter 2, verse 183 to 184, and I quote, All you who believe, fast prescribed for you as it was prescribed for those before you so that you may guard against evil unquote according to the holy quran fasting the month of ramadan is the most rewarding in the world such that it aims to teach muslims to control their passion and live productive lives apart from the natural rewards associated with fasting on these special days Fasting and praying must be an integral part of our lifestyle, particularly for soul lifting and spiritual upliftment. More importantly, Ramadan is more than just abstaining. It's about giving generously, about showing compassion, about showing kindness to those in need. It's about empathy and understanding, about coming together as a community, to support one another and to lift one another up. 
Furthermore, one of the best ways to increase our imam and multiply our reward in the present month is by providing iftar to the less privileged. This is a beautiful deed that the Prophet Muhammad practiced and encouraged his ummah to perform. The Messenger of Allah said, and I quote, Whoever provides iftar for a fasting person in Ramadan, then that shall be a forgiveness for his sins and freedom from fire. And for such a feeder shall be the same reward as the one who fasted, without that person's reward being decreased in the And I, my chairman had also said the same thing. For so those of us that didn't actually fast, but provided a fasted, our sins have been forgiven. I want to passionately enjoin you all to make use of this blessed month in such a fruitful way that will continually reflect in your day-to-day -day activities as citizens, children, employees, employers, and for the good of humanity and for the building of an egalitarian society that we desire. Let us continue to pray for our president, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu GCFR. As he repositions the economy of our great country, things are definitely getting better. Let us strengthen our communal bond and be our brother's keepers as we navigate these present economic realities. Ramadan teaches us to be cheerful believers and faithful givers. You all know that as a very compassionate and responsive government, with God as the compass of administration, we continue to implement various people-oriented initiatives to bring succor to the various segments of our residents whilst cushioning the present economic challenges. We'll continue to fulfill our pledge to the people of Ogun State to be fair, to be just, and to be committed to their cause at all times in the bid to build our future together, which is firmly entrenched in our shared development agenda, just like our guest lecturer had admonished. May I once more emphasize that only collaborative efforts by the government and citizens will quickly return Nigeria to the path of prosperity as the success of nation building relies on the symbiotic relationship between government and the governed. Equally, I enjoin you all to rededicate your precious time to prayers and supplications after the month of Ramadan as stipulated by the Almighty Allah. And what am I saying? Most of us would have been pious the past 30 days, would have prayed, would have gave, would have been our brother's keeper for 30 days. Let us keep that up for the rest of the year. Let us not go back to our old ways, believing that that is just for the holy month of Ramadan. Once again, I'd like to congratulate all our Muslims and the general public for witnessing this year's Ramadan. In the same vein, I commend the laudable efforts of the organizing committee and all those who in one way or the other have toiled earnestly to ensure the success of this year's Ramadan iftar. May Allah accept all of these as an act of ibadah. I mean, and may this Ramadan be a time of blessings, of forgiveness, of spiritual growth for all of us. We have just about two days left and I wish us all Ramadan Mubarak. As I wish you all a very peaceful, rewarding month of Ramadan, I thank you all for listening to me. I wish you all Johnny Masses back home. Mashallah. Igbe Gai Kwile Ogun. Sheikh Said. Sheikh Said. Abiodun Dabo. I want you all to
Nisi yiko Entoku ni Kibaba wala tiye wa Aki wa jeroba na Aki wuka wu Jeroba na Aki wuka fun alon Aki wuka wuka wala nje kuda Mato wuka yewa da ma ba alon nje Roba na atina fi dunia asaneta Wa fi liayrati asaneta Wa kina azaba nal Subuhana robbika robbil insaji ama yasifun Wa salamu ala al-mursalina Wa alhamdulillahi robbi li alamin Sallu ala al-nabi kareem Tekbir Ashayi shabadu La shayi ledu mari Oju watori Eto todui Ono lo mari ti odu tombo Layo ati alafia Bogu awo baba baba Ono ni adupe Lowe Your Excellencies Very distinguished ladies and gentlemen We thank everyone for coming And as many that received the access card Please join us for the special of uh, tar breaking of fast as designated. Thank you. Adukwa o Allah Mashele ni ashima feni kwa kwa wa. Mati bo? Ejo mati bi. I want to work with you on your back from the live telecast on your own by the media to our programs stay tuned The Inspector General of Police has met with senior officers to review the state of security. We are continuing our coverage of the arrest of Godwin Amefiele. The Senate has summoned the Governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria to properly brief the Senate regarding the state of the economy. President Bola Tinubu has announced the total removal of fuel subsidy. The fresh subsidy is gone. What I will never take is threat. Let's now bring you more development from Ibadan, the your state capital, where an explosion has taken place. Tell us about this incident. TVC News. First with breaking news. At TVC News, wherever the big news story is happening, we're geared up to break it. TVC News, first with breaking news. live in Abuja, capital of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Good evening to you in Nigeria and around the world. You're watching Politics on Sunday. I am Femi Akonde. Today we'll have another interesting political conversation. As you are aware that the EFCC, the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, has been the most prominent anti-graft agency in the country. Well, this is also because over the years, its operations and activities have been heavily scrutinized by Nigerians. Not everyone sees reasons to give the EFCC its flowers. Rather, many criticize its mode of operations. Or some say the anti-graft agency is just a tool in the hand of the government of the day or any government of the day to witch hunt and prosecute perceived political opponents. But lately, under the leadership of Ola Olukoyede, 
the EFCC is prosecuting the former CBN governor, Godwin Emefiele. The EFCC also launched an operation against uh, the, uh, Bureau of the Change Operators. People are uh, believed uh, to be responsible for uh, the falling Naira price. Well, the latest also that has put the EFCC under the spotlight is the prosecution of Idris Okuneye, popularly called uh, Bobriski. There has also been the investigation of some politically exposed persons, former governors, and top government officials. In the first 100 days of Ola Olukoyede as the chairman of the EFCC, the commission says it recovered more than 70 billion naira, also received 3,325 petitions, and secured convictions of 747 suspects. This success was recorded between October 2023 and January 19, 2024, as outlined in an EFCC document titled Operations and Recoveries. Well, I have in the studio the right person to talk about the EFCC. He is uh, the, uh, he's the Director of Public Affairs of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission. Welcome to the studio, sir. Thank you for having me. Good evening. Yes, good evening. Let's start with uh, what's been trending uh, about um, the EFCC lately, and that is with the prosecution of the uh, popular cross-dresser Idris, Idris Okune. I watched um, the MyCon podcast where a prominent human rights uh, activist, Chidi Odinkalu, accused uh, the EFCC of uh, just witch hunting him, and he's even saying that prosecuting him for uh, mutilation of the Naira is not the prerogative of the EFCC. Rather, another law enforcement agency should have been allowed to do that. Well, uh, th thank you for that, that question. Uh, Idris Okuneye was, was arrested based on the intelligence that we received concerning him um, spraying and stamping on Naira notes at a social event. And based on that, he was invited to the EFCC, and after the investigation, he was arraigned in court.